focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Petroleum Corporation Limited or HPCL is a government of India enterprise with a Navratna status and a Forbes 2000 and Global Fortune 500 company. It was incorporated in 1974 and has been growing steadily over the years. In 1974, Government of India decided to take over SO. In 76, Caltex was merged with HPCL and that is how HPCL was born with an amalgamation of two foreign companies that was SO and Caltex. From there originally this started with the small refineries of less than 1 million ton capacities but today over a period of time both the refineries were expanded. HPCL grew in its capacities, in its spread. We adopted a pan-India presence from a very small percentage of the market share in that time. We do today where we sell almost around 34.2 million metric ton of uh, products last year. This year we have surpassed that also to 35.2 million metric ton. Earlier with the refining capacities of just 1.5 to 2 million metric ton, today we have processing almost 18.2 million metric ton. HPCL owns and operates two major refineries producing a wide variety of petroleum fuels and specialities. One is in Mumbai West Coast and the other in Vishakhapatnam East Coast with a combined capacity of nearly 16 mmTPA. HPCL also owns and operates the largest lube refinery in the country producing lube-based oils of international standards with a capacity of 428 TMT. The state-of-the-art HP Lubes refinery is situated at Mumbai. This lube refinery accounts for over 40% of India's total lube-based oil production. HPCL refineries uh, in Hindustan Petroleum, they play a very key role being a refining and marketing company. They are the lifeline of the whole corporation. And we have two refineries which are fully owned, one in Mumbai and one in Vizag. They are fairly complex refineries, though they were set up as very simple refineries in the early 50s as uh, Caltex and SO refineries. And uh, over a period of time, uh, they have grown. Uh, what started off as a simple 1 million refinery each, currently they are complex refineries, which produce uh, Euro 4 fuels and have a combined capacity of close to 16 million tons. HPCL has the second largest share of product pipelines for transportation of petroleum products in India with a pipeline network of more than 3,000 kilometers. It also has a vast marketing network consisting of 13 zonal offices in major cities and 119 regional offices facilitated by a supply and distribution infrastructure comprising terminals, pipeline networks, aviation service stations, LPG bottling plants, inland relay depots, retail outlets and LPG distributorships. Retail is one of the largest business unit consisting of almost 30, 68 to 70 percent of our volume. The other strategic business unit is LPG and the other strategic business unit is direct sales which we look after the institutional supplies where various defense, state transport, railways and industries where we are supplying them various products whether it be fuel oil or naphtha as feedstock or HSD for state transport or HSD for defense in the highest altitude and various places plus bitumen for construction of the roads. Another very profitable competitive segment of our corporation is the lubricants. We are proud to say that we are the largest lube marketeers in this country, primarily on account of our refinery which produces the largest base oil quantity. 
consistent, excellent performance has been made possible by a highly motivated workforce of over 11,000 employees working all over India at its various refining and marketing locations. The workplace is replete with talented people with cutting-edge skills. At supervisory and managerial levels, there is full and active involvement of CFD and executive directors and top leadership who discuss important issues concerning the organization, analyze the same and recommend the way forward. It has thus facilitated an integrated thinking process and an aligned approach across the corporation for achieving the corporate vision. The mission of human resources department of this organization which is enabling human performance. That is the core purpose for which the human resources department exists in HPCL. The HR uh, policy of HPCL is that we look at our employees as composite where one subset of this uh, of their personality is the skill or the expertise or experience or knowledge which they possess. Second is their own personality, the unique personality which they've got. And if we have to get uh, value out of them, we, will we address the whole personality. HPCL has a full-fledged and well-equipped training institute in Nigdi, Pune that stands as a testimony to the value HPCL places on training. HPCL also nominates its officers for external seminars and conferences in connection with their functional requirements. Study tours and e-learning programs have also been devised to enrich the knowledge and skills of its employees. We have long-term tie-ups with various institutes of repute in the country like uh, IIMs, IIT, where we, they are our education partners, where our officers go and do courses which are curriculum based. And these courses follow various adult learning principles, where the employee is able to get the quality input and with uh, uh, expertise on how to apply this in his uh, or her area of uh, uh, assignments which are given. The HR department's vision is excellence in harnessing the full potential of all employees for becoming a world-class energy company. With this vision in focus, the corporate training department's vision is to create value through enhanced competencies and be a strategic partner to business by enabling employees to realize their full potential through innovative and progressive learning initiatives. We have been given a lot of opportunities, we are given a lot of trainings and also scope to realize our full potential. And time and again, whatever work you do, you have been, we are always given due recognition of our work. Uh, I can say it for myself also, like last year I was given an outstanding achievement award for something which I did in my refinery days, during my refinery days and it was a it, I was honored in a big ceremony and it was, I was rewarded monetarily, so it's a very, it was a great experience. Besides, if I have to talk about my own department, like finance department, I will say there are three levels of training which we normally give. One is at the junior level management, we are clearly focusing on technical skills, where people at the base level need to clearly understand what they do. And accordingly, uh, we have inputs from the internal faculty who have actually experience in the system. Then as they grew into the middle level manager levels, besides this technical competency, we also focus on behavioral competencies. Like uh, where no, they, have, they are becoming leaders of the organization. They need to manage the organizational resources, including the human uh, officers who are there going to be with them. And therefore, uh, it's very, very clearly evident that they also go through some structural uh, behavioral programs wherein they get these bigger concepts also inscribed in the thought processes. Project Akshay is a leadership development program where multiple methodologies like executive coaching, 360 degree feedback based on emotional and social competency inventory, classroom sessions by experts, experiential learning through mentoring opportunities and group projects etc. are intertwined and deployed in well-designed coordinated and aligned manners. 
unique feature of this program is that while they are getting mentored, they are also utilizing that knowledge in parallelly mentoring some mentees. So each of the uh, uh, participant in Akshay is assigned certain mentees. So he transmits the knowledge which he has acquired to his mentees and learns from that feedback. And uh, there, there's a lot of uh, reverse uh, mentoring which goes on during this program. As part of Akshay, Akshay Path, I was uh, given opportunity to groom future leaders. So that again has given me a great um, satisfaction in terms of uh, transferring my leadership skills to these youngsters. Here again, these boys were able to uh, develop one small project and which was accepted and then implemented. HPCL, an Indian behemoth in the refinery sector, believes in facilitating learning in the organization and hence its training policy provides broad directions and guide learning solutions and initiatives. For management staff, the entry-level induction or orientation training program called Samavesh facilitates new employees in building a sense of belongingness. We had followed always a very open culture. Even the youngest of the employee is important for us. Even the junior must person, we consider he has got something in him which is unique to him. And that is how we involve the people right from the beginning in decision making process. We give them substantial responsibilities, we make them swim in the water, we make them learn, we handhold, but rather than taking them to a chartered path, we try to make them find their own path. It is the value system, uh, the HP first culture, which unites all of us. Okay, Each of the letters stands for a value and character. The first stands for, F stands for free and frank culture, I is for integrity, R is respect for individual, S stands for sustainable performance year after year and T stands for teamwork. Free, frank is one of the free mottos of this organization. Employees can reach across the level. We have an open door policy. HPCL has a large workforce of women who are ambitious, competent and achievement oriented. To support their career aspirations, the company organizes various programs that promote and enhance gender equality at workplace. HPCL is a corporate life member of WIPS or Women in Public Sector and has always actively supported WIPS activities. This place is very very empowering for women and particularly during the challenging times when we have small children and family responsibilities to take care. It becomes so easy to sail through uh, with our responsibilities uh, because of the support that we get from the organization. Here in HPCL we have maternity leave, we have childcare leave for up to two years and uh, all other kind of supports, you know, there are many different types of leaves other than that. We have women placed at very, very difficult locations where they have even expressed their interest. Uh, locations such as refineries, our terminals, depots, ASFs, which are these job roles are generally uh, stereotyped as men roles. Among the other employee engagement activities at HPCL are programs like Your Vantage, Corporate Ramniti, Reboot at 35, reboot at the age of 35 plus. Here again we reboot, we provide a platform for the officers and for the employees to reboot themselves after they've uh, reached a mid-age mid uh, kind of situation. Apart from that we have Uvantage which addresses our young employees. We actually have a robust program and robust system where we give a kind of input and training programs for the employees who are going to retire in next five years. We engage the children in the extracurriculars, in the games, in the sports. This way we are able to, in, to inculcate a sense of belonging. We are able to inculcate a set of, sense of pride in the families that their spouses are doing something worthwhile and they are a part of it and 
and we recognize that the families has got a major contribution in the performance of the employees. Other benefits for employees include home lease facility, accommodation at a very minimal charge with a host of recreational facilities such as sports, swimming pool, a gymnasium and other allowances to make employees comfortable. We look after the families of the employee. We look after the employee's personal aspiration in terms of his interest, in terms of his uh, uh, ability to add value to the job. So it is a mixture and this practice both is fodder for HR, HR policies and outcome of HR policies. HPCL also believes the CSR model of creating shared values by reaching out to the stakeholders, community and society who are directly or indirectly involved in its business operations. We lay a lot of emphasis on girl child's education. So we have a program called Nanni Kali where uh, so far we would have uh, trained around 33,000 Nanni Kalis where we take care of their education right from primary up to 12th standard and uh, these are first generation learners, first generation school goers and our employees take part in this program as project leaders, as contributors. Apart from that, we have programs where uh, we help uh, differently abled uh, people, uh, segment of the society. Our employees not only contribute to that, they contribute their quality time to that. They go and take participate in those activities. And through CSR, we try and add value to the society. HPCL has also been part of the many other initiatives like we recently also tried to develop the entrepreneurs from the socially uh, not so well off uh, communities and we had two programs where we tried to develop the entrepreneurs by handholding them, by teaching them, by having mentoring them, by arranging the facilities for them so that we also become a part of not only creating the good employees but also create the good entrepreneurs which can aid employment to other part of the society as well. HPCL has also been committed towards environmental protection, climate change and carrying out business in a responsible way. There is a dedicated policy on sustainable development with a clear focus on achieving the economic, ecological and social objectives of sustainable development. One of the values that we nurture is that we need to be in a business model which is sustainable and uh, that has prompted us over a period of time to adopt technologies uh, which are environment friendly, which are uh, you know, so called green. So at every opportunity we have converted our critical processes to green processes using friendly solvents. and. Uh, Quite a lot of work these days we are doing at our own corporate R&D in Bangalore which is one of the state of the art centers of its kind uh, probably in the whole world for the areas that we are working on. All these initiatives at HPCL have not only improved the employee engagement and added enormous gains to their business but also made them win prestigious awards and accolades at various national and international levels. Gas and petrochemicals are the future lines of business for us in addition to the petroleum business which we are anywhere there. We are also trying to have the manufacturing capabilities in petrochemical. The Rajasthan refinery already has got a petrochemical complex. The South India petrochemical complex is going to come. We are upgrading our both the refineries. HPCL is having a capex plan of the tune which this company has never seen any time before. We have got the capex plan which will be almost running to 75 to 80,000 crores in the next five to, ten, 5 to 6 years. Our capacity will increase substantially. We are upgrading our refineries which will add to our the bottom lines. And in this process, not only we will be improving our profitabilities, but we will also be increasing our, uh, our volumes, our share in the market, our total business uh, volumes and the new lines of business.
HPCL believes in creating a very strong and dynamic workplace where a lot of emphasis is laid to promote an environment which fosters personal growth and meets long-term organizational objectives. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.